Big displacement and few cylinders is the key to strong low end torque. Although it does not matter here where the torque tops out, we care how high the actual final number can climb. Most often cruisers have the largest, lowering engines. Here is a list of the torquiest piston motorcycles ever sold. Suzuki B-King With the Hayabusa engine, the B-King is no ordinary roadster. This street fighter indeed received a 1.3 liter engine from the Suzuki Hayabusa, but it was adapted to it to some extent. The power and torque went down a bit due to the different intake and exhaust system. Harley Davidson Road King The Road King is a part of the Harley Davidson FL model series. Since 1994, it replaced the FLHS Electroglide Sport and, as with all Harleys, it also had the twin-cylinder engine in a V-shape. The manufacturer does not state the power figure, only the peak torque at RPM, which means we can only guess. Kawasaki ZX-14R The ZX-14 started with 190 horsepower in 2006 and ever since 2012 it was marketed as the ZX-1400R and besides high power, the torque figure raised. It was considered the second generation as the engine displacement also went from 1352 to 1441cc. <laughs> Suzuki Hayabusa When the Hayabusa came out for the first time, supposedly it was the fastest road league motorcycle. A couple of years later, the speed limiter was set to 299 km per hour and it also got a new engine. It was enlarged by 40cc, received lighter internals and a higher compression ratio. <laughs> Suzuki Intruder M1800R Boss The M1800 is a big guy with big muscles. This means that it is not really quick and any small super sport could beat it, but the torque number of the V-twin engine is very impressive. The M1800R Boss is actually the top version with the largest engine of the Intruder series.
Honda VTX 1800. The VTX represented Honda's Cruiser series. The first bike was the VTX 1800, also with a V-twin cylinder engine of 1800cc. This engine is interesting in the way that it uses the largest connecting rods Honda has ever used in a motorcycle engine, and besides that, also has three valves and two spark plugs per cylinder. Yamaha VMAX The VMAX is a very easy to recognize with its huge air vents on both sides of the bike. Unlike its competitors and alongside its predecessor, the power unit was a 65 degree V4 engine with strong torque and even better power. Honda F6C Valkyrie Honda first showed the original Valkyrie in 1996 with a 1500cc flat 6 engine. The project was discontinued in 2003 and reintroduced 10 years later with a new 1800cc engine. It came from the gold wing, only revised a little and the bike itself weighed less. Yamaha XV1900 Midnight Star All of these large cylinder engines make a ton of torque down in the rev range. The XV1900 is no exception, and there is one special trick which helps it even more. If this was racing, it would be cheating, but Yamaha actually fitted an electronic device to alter the internal exhaust diameter at its front area. This was the first time it appeared in a non-performance motorcycle. Harley-Davidson CVO While it still is a V-twin engine, the CVO has a larger engine and thus theoretically more power than the Royal King. The paper numbers do say so as well as the power calculations shows a higher horsepower figure. The CVO, Custom Vehicle Operations, was created in 1999 and provides customization of larger displacement bikes Harley makes. BMW K1600 
BMW is known for inline sixes, and even though this isn't a car, they have fitted it with a straight six engine. It displaces over 1600 cc, and although it is not the low revving engine in the motorcycle business, it does make an incredible amount of torque. Actually, the six spot makes over 100 Nm per liter, which shows how efficient and well engineered this unit is. <laughs> Kawasaki VN2000 Vulcan The Vulcan series supposedly covered bikes from 125cc up to 2000cc. There was also a 500cc version, but this one had a parallel twin engine unlike the others with a V-twin. Imagine the fact that the V2000 had two 103mm forged pistons and alloy connecting rods. Triumph Rocket 3 The Triumph Rocket 3 is the winner of this list and thank god this is different than the previous ones. Forget about the twin cylinder, this mammoth has a 3 cylinder engine mounted longitudinally. It has a tremendous amount of torque and more than a decade later it is still unbeaten. 